either on or off. Welcome YouTube and it's your boy LRF and today I'm gonna give you an updated tour of my home theater setup. I have expanded it. If you've been keeping up with the previous videos, you know that I've changed my system from a, a 5.3 point was that two and now it is a 5.2.4 and um the upgrades was well worth it and i'm enjoying it thoroughly now but stay tuned for the intro here we go no hey guys um thank you for joining me um it's been a long journey getting to this point and um, a lot of trial and error and um, upgrades and whatnot. Um, I'm still unfinished. I still have a bit more to go. You know, I'm always in search of the perfect system, <laughs> if that even exists. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm not even going to drag this out. We're going to get right to it like I always do. You know, I don't like dragging out anything. As you can tell by my other videos, but um, let's get started. Um, like I said, I'm still working on it. As you see, I put back heights into my system, but now, not being on those brackets from my previous, you know, previous setup videos or whatnot, I've changed it. Where now I have heights up above the television, and you can see I'm using the prime elevations from SVS, and I think that was a great choice. At first, I was gonna go with the Klipsch. 140 SA's but then I start looking at what I was getting for my money and these prime elevations are about the same price with a lot more performance so I went along with the prime elevations as you can see both of them here in the um, height setup above my television alright you see um, I still have the same television I have plans to upgrade that maybe later this year early next year I have I don't have um, HDR or it's a 4k but I don't have HDR I don't have Dolby Vision I don't have HDR 10 so it's like pretty much pointless the only thing I could say I have on this television that I like is the 3d but which you know now they pretty much stopped manufacturing televisions with 3d and that's pretty much what kept this TV here this long all right but um, we're not gonna move say any much more about that I already talked about it a little bit in my previous um, home theater video I'll put the link below so that you could um, go back to the old video and check it out but it is a Samsung TV it's a 60 inch all right and um next is my center channel which is the RP 440c reference premiere I think clips is coming out with a new model soon but I'm happy with what I have and pretty much is nothing worth upgrading yet you know is it performs great and even though they're changing the style in a bit I rather stick with my my old setup of course it's the Harmony Hub which is working along with the um, Amazon Echo Dot in order to control my co electronics and also in sync with the receiver all of that stuff alright I may one day make a video to show how to set it up with your electronics and stuff like that but that is somewhere in the future all right and um, what I didn't mention this is also the hub for the Samsung television which I think most televisions now pretty much Samsung televisions are coming with these um, this is the Bluetooth dongle for my Logitech uh, mini keyboard which I'm not even sure where is that I haven't used it in a while <laughs> all right so let's move on along we have the R R1110 SW reference. This is um, also a reference premiere subwoofer. It's a 10 inch. Um, uh, they've been they've done great so far, but I I am thinking about upgrading. I'm not sure yet because the the level of where it goes that well the hertz how low the bass goes. I'm I might I'm thinking I want something to go deeper, but I'm not quite sure yet. All right, um, I have two of them right now. I have a third. I had a third that used to be on the system, but I removed it. It used to be in the back. I removed it, and um, 
I still have it, but I think I'm about to sell it because I might change my subwoofers. All right, these are my towers. These are my towers here. These are the RP RP 260F reference premiere. These are six and a half inch woofers with the one inch Tractrix horn, 90, with 90 by 90 Tractrix horn. All right. And also this, I have upgraded my receiver, which you will see in the previous video where I did an unboxing. It is a manufactured refurbished. I saved like an extra hundred bucks from what the best price you could find online right now, brand new. And I think it was well worth it. I found out that the warranty is a little shorter in terms of time, but that's fine with me. You know, I, I probably won't have this more than a couple of years or so and then eventually end up upgrading again. But it's been performing great. And as usual, um, I use my Emotiva XBA5 um, to power most most of the channels so it doesn't really matter what the power output is on my receiver I think it's 110 but um, I think once you have multiple speakers hooked up to that the, the power goes down to per channel is more like 80 watts or something like that so I must have a MOT in my lineup in order to power my speakers pro properly um, I have Joey for satellite television and also I have an old HD DVD player yes I still do as I mentioned in my last video I still do watch HD DVDs time to time 1080p or I believe it's 1080i but um, the resolution is good and it's okay I don't just don't like repurchasing movies over and over again oh one thing I did fail to mention these are my decoupling how I decouple my subwoofer from the house yes I was having a resonate resonating sounds and vibration my windows rattling and stuff so I, I looked to to get like decoupling stands and different stuff and they were expensive like what the hell like something inanimate that doesn't really do anything but absorb sound costs so much money so I did a little research I looked it up and I found these three inch foam pads that used in like furniture and stuff like that and I had them I bought them in in into the the, the width and and length of what I needed and I tried to trim them a little bit because they were still a little big and um, I used those and guess what I don't have the vibrations and the buzzing sounds and stuff from stuff rattling anymore and I will be doing a video about that is a simple project that anyone could do to save a couple of dollars but I'll show you that in another video all right coming soon all right look in here yeah my son knocked this off the other day so the door is kind of messed up right now I gotta tighten it up a little bit but that's not a big deal of course I got the ps4 um, the destiny edition the original destiny um, I got my Panamax um, power power protector that's the uh, M5400 EX is an older model but it still do the job do the trick all right and I have an Xbox One S down there that's what I use for my playback currently because the budget is not there for uh, Oppo or the um what's that other brand is a direct copy of the, the Oppo um, is a British brand I can't think of it off the top of my head but when that comes about when it's time for me to get one of those I'll be sure to uh, make a video about it so y'all can see the changes and of course I got some games down there and uh, over here I got some demo disc of DTSX demo disc 2018 4k edition and also have what's um, my Dolby Atmos demo disc is from 2016. They haven't made a recent, a more recent, recent one. I will do some um, demos of my system and load them up there. Hopefully, you can hear some of the changes by checking back and forth to the previous one. Um, you know, but you you won't quite hear it how I could hear it in the living room. But hey, something to check out to see what possibly might interest you. All right. 
Uh, all right, so that's it for what's in there. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, my amplifier is powering my center, my two towers, and my um, heights up in the back. All right, that's all my five channel is powering. I'm also thinking about getting a second Emotiva amplifier, maybe something around, you know, uh, 100 watts or so to power the remaining speakers and that way have the receiver not really powering anything, just just processing and switching the video and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's down the line. All right, next thing, I, got, I had to push some stuff out of the way so I could get to this stuff. I have my bipolars, my RP240S. I have, ooh, that's a accident, that's unfortunate. I have two of these, here and here. And um, yeah, they've been great so far. I haven't had no complaints about them. I do, do wish that I did um, get the 250s instead because those could handle more power. These I believe only um, RMS is like 75 or 100 watts, you know, and um, I probably should have gotten the 250s in order to go a little higher, you know, because, you know, I like dealing with power and Motiva <laughs> will, will, you know, need something that can handle it. But anyway, that doesn't cater now. But um, so far, that's where I'm at with my system. Um, I will be making other videos. To update you guys and let you see what's going on with it um, I have several videos to make one about those um, my decoupling how I decouple my subwoofers and possibly about the stands that I use on my center channel and uh, it was one other thing I needed to uh, I can't quite remember what it was but um, there will be new videos coming out to tell you all what's going on but I thank you guys for joining me I thank you guys for supporting me and it's very much appreciated. So remember to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And um, you all have a good day. Oh, and don't forget to press your bell notification so you know when I have new videos come out. Thanks and bye.